If you would simply like to fill the tire with air, you can find the valve stem by rotating the tire until you see the stem, and fill as you would any bike tire. For optimal performance, keep tire pressure at 35 to 40 PSI. If you wish to change the tire or tube, you will need to open the solo wheel case. Here's how. Have a Phillips head screwdriver and flashlight ready. An electric screwdriver may be used on the smaller outer screws. In the middle of the cover, beneath the leg pads, there are six screws. Unscrew the screws only on the opposite side of the on-off switch and charging port. Do not unscrew the screws that are on the same side as the on-off switch and charging port. Unscrew all the screws around the outside of the cover with a Phillips screwdriver. Seven screws on each side, including the ones in the handle. Gently open the top half of the case and flip it over. There are connecting wires between the two half cases. Be careful not to stretch these wires. You can now change the tire or the inner tube as you would on a standard bicycle. Refit the solo wheel cover in place. Carefully tuck all wires into the wire compartments under the handle area. Using a flashlight shining from the opposite side, check to make sure that no wires are going to be pinched before completely joining the case halves. Push the two case halves together until they are almost shut. Place one screw in the handle area, but do not replace the rest of the screws just yet. Using your hand or a rubber hammer, tap the case to line up the screw holes on the ridge between the foot platform and the leg pad. Screw in all six screws using the large Phillips screwdriver. Take care to turn the screws in as straight as possible. If you feel too much resistance, back the screw out, realign it, and tighten it again. Screw in all 14 screws, seven on each side, around the circumference of the case on both sides, starting with the handle. You have now opened the solo wheel, changed the tire, and closed it back up. Power on the solo wheel and test for any rubbing or other problems. If problems occur, carefully repeat the process, watching for proper alignment and that no wires are pinched. If everything is in order, you're ready to ride.